Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Hardcore Minecraft Take 3. Way last we left the Avatar, I completely overwrit the smaller map that I've made in making my large map, which was a silly thing to do. However, in exploring the large map, I found a mushroom biome, and I now have two mushroom. And I spy that one of these skeletons has a magic bow, and I want that bow, so how about they? Need to be careful, though, because of the fact that these enemies are still dangerous. But I believe I've got them. And did they drop that bow? No, no, they didn't. Ah, well, what can you do? Well, I could lament that I didn't get the bow, but that won't make the bow appear. Now, before I go out and explore some more, I want to make a new enclosure for the chickens, because we don't have any, uh, real room for the mushrooms and the chickens to be there. So I think I'm going to make a chicken enclosure right here, which means I'm gonna have to get rid of this tree. It's gonna take a while to get rid of this, rid of this tree, but Doing so will get me all of the resources I need to build that enclosure, and a little more besides. So let's do a little bit of work here, and also uh, eat some bread, because we need to. And we're going to have to use the wood that we are uh, chopping up to get up to reach the uh, other parts of uh, the tree. Ah yes, these big trees. Someone did mention that I could... Uh, put blocks of floating dirt above trees to stop them from growing uh, so big. And while that's definitely a good idea, I uh, do complain about these trees, but they are quite fun to uh, get rid of. It's a challenge, as it were. Ah, I see that uh, this tree has uh, actually grown on top of this tree. That's going to make getting rid of all of this stuff a little bit more challenging, but... I'm up for the challenge. We want to uh, do that. Go here. And get rid of those. There we go. Now, are there any other bits of uh, tree here that I've missed? I don't think so. It's all disappearing quite quickly. Which means I've done it. To be careful that we uh, yep, don't hurt ourselves, and we of course get lots and lots of uh, saplings, and bits of stick, and uh, oh, that one went straight in the water, and maybe an apple or two if we're really lucky, but I don't think we're going to be really lucky. First things first, we shall make a huge pile of these, and then look in here for some more sticks and some more planks, because I did remember that I had some and make a few of these, and then make even more of them by doing that, getting this, and a little bit here. That is more than enough, in fact that is most certainly overkill, but I'm not going to complain about overkill here. Hmm, we also want to uh, make sure that- ooh, there is an apple that just appeared out of nowhere, that's good. We want to make sure that we uh, have enough space, which probably means we're going to have to get rid of this one as well. There we go, that one is gone, and we shall make our enclosure right here. Doesn't need to be that big, because it is the uh, chickens. We'll do that, there, and that should do. Of course, we're going to need to uh, make a path and have it connect up with this path. So, get rid of that, this, that, and a little bit more. Like so. Perfect. All we need to do now is actually get the uh, chickens in, and we can do that by using these seeds. Hello! Would you like to come this way? You would, and you can all fit through because... You're much smaller than the cows. Perfect. In you go, into your new home! That is going to have to uh, be illuminated because the torches for these are too far away. 
And we got a sapling right there. Marvelous. Four chickens. Perfect. Stay there. And they will, because they don't really have much choice. That can go there. And we need to... Hmm, getting round to... Uh, this part's going to be a little bit tricky, but if I skirt this edge here... Perfect. Now... We should probably do a little bit of uh, farming here. Also, we need another moose room. So, that there, that there. And... Have a baby moose room. Hello. Now let's put these here and get some more wheat and see how that uh, melon stalk is coming along. It's not doing too badly. When if we get some more uh, bone meal, we're going to be using it on that. There we go. A few more of these, and this probably won't get us more. Oh, it did! I'm surprised! Pleasantly so! Let's use that here. I believe that is nearly... Oh, well, I uh, destroyed that a bit too early. That is nearly fully grown. Now, let's harvest all of this. We do need a lot of this. And grab that one that's right there. There we go. Make some paper. Put the paper there. Put that there. This here. That there. The mushrooms can go here. The kelp can go there. And we might as well actually keep the uh, oak fences there. Also, we do have a lot of bones, so we could always uh, just grow that uh, thing even more. And in fact, that is a pretty good idea, me. Okay. Does this need any more? No, it doesn't, actually. It is fully grown. So instead, we shall uh, do that and uh, get some more wheat. Like so. And put all the spare seeds here, of course. Now, we can put the eggs in here, too. We actually now have some arrows. That's really good. Gunpowder will go somewhere else. Right. Need to get some more leather. These cows are all ready for some wheat. Who wants it? You all want it, don't you? Including you. There we go. And we have just enough wheat for three more loaves of bread. Now, if you'd like to scatter... Aha! How about they? We got some leather. Oh, accidentally hit that uh, cow. Don't want to hit the mushroom. We got three pieces of leather, which is great news. That means three more books, that means some more bookshelves. So, bread. And we could actually make the bookshelves with uh, what we have right now, because we still have some planks. So, books and bookshelf. And I don't remember if we have any more books anywhere else, but we'll be checking that once we go downstairs and deposit all of this wood. We're not going to need to take the wood with us. Storage room here. Wood goes in here. Except maybe six pieces if we have a spare book in here. Ores, we have none. Miscellaneous loot, that is where this can go. We could put this food in here, why not? Anything else? Magic stuff? We don't have any books there. So we only have one bookshelf. But hey, one bookshelf is progress. We now have four of them. Slowly but surely, we are making our way to the critical mass of bookshelves. Now we want to put this here. Actually, we want to put that there and that there like that. Put these... Uh, bits of wood back there, put the books back upstairs along with all the paper, and then we shall go out and about once more once it becomes day. If you're not doing it while it's night, that is a terrible idea. So the avatar shall rest, and then I think what we want to do is head uh, quite a way south. I probably should have actually just made a uh, really big uh, map from the very beginning. Ah well, 
is it something I've done if it's uh, done efficiently? That is a question. So that tree is nearly gone. Now let us, instead of going uh, the way we were going before, we're just going to head south a lot and see what we can find. We still have the lead, we still have the uh, bed, so that is actually north, isn't it? Yeah, we want to go... Is it north? And this is when I get disorientated. So that way is that way. So that will bring us there. So we actually want to go this way. Okay. Figured it out. The Avatar has figured out which way he needs to go. It is this way. This way will lead to new places. If we could find a pumpkin while we're out and about, we will have another thing that we can then uh, harvest. For now, I'm not uh, bothered about filling in the map completely. I literally just want to get to a new location. We do know the vague uh, surroundings. And we do know that uh, biome area that will lead to the uh, area with the desert stronghold. And there's that sand. That huge pile of sand. Now. We're already making a lot of headway south, but we can always make more. And that's exactly what we're doing. Hello. Don't mind me, Squid. I'm just going this way. Into the unknown. Well, as much into the unknown as we ever can. Because we can see quite a ways ahead. Admittedly, right now, all we can see is, uh, nothing but sand and water. But that's still something. Imagine finding a pumpkin area in the middle of that desert biome. You just go there and he goes, Hey, I'm, uh, I'm a pumpkin. In the sand. I know, it makes no sense. Ooh. There's this area here. Now, can we find a... Ha-ha! That looks like a treasure chest. Let's go. Ah. Ooh, no, we can actually access it. And it has a magically enchanted fishing rod in it with Lure 2. That's pretty good. And there's another treasure chest here. What's this got in it? I think we've already looted that one. I think we have. Which means I haven't really been paying attention to uh, these areas. Because there's probably a treasure chest in one of these too. Like that one right there. Oh, Avatar, not paying any attention. That's what you were doing. Now, let's be very careful because of these blocks that will get us into bother. There is a lot of coal, some wheat, and a buried treasure map. Ooh, buried treasure. I think we found something that uh, we can do instead of exploring. And that is go look for treasure. That's exactly what we're going to do. And then I think I saw a uh, treasure chest here. There's one right there. Getting to it is going to be a bit tricky, but if I do that... Aha! Another treasure map. Now the question is, are they the same treasure map? They uh, sometimes can be. I believe in my survival world I got uh, several copies of exactly the same treasure map. Now, let us look at this. Hmm... We are quite a ways away from that one. What about this one? It's exactly the same treasure map. Just like I said, it could be. Well, we'll keep that in mind as we're exploring about. Right now, we are not going to be uh, focusing on that intently. There are a few more buildings here. Do these have any uh, treasure in them? If they do, I can't see it. So, let's keep in mind that this is here, and keep moving south. This is when someone will tell me that I have missed a very obvious treasure chest amongst all of them, but such is me. Sometimes things just get missed. Ooh, that's a very big area there. Goes quite high, too. But let's just keep going south for now, because I'm pretty sure... 
got to about here, and that was where our map, our mapping ended. There's a lot more that we can go and explore. Mostly in this direction. And that direction. In that direction. And behind us. And up in the sky. And way down below in the depths. There is a lot to explore. Many worlds worth of biomes and mysteries. All waiting to be uncovered. And there's some sand. There's no mystery there, it's just a pile of sand. There's a cave. We could go check out that cave if we wanted to. But we're not going to right now. We're just sailing around looking for things of interest. Maybe a village floating on the water. I don't think they actually float on the water, but I have seen villages that uh, stretch out into the water. They are very odd creations. More desert. Am I surprised that there is even more desert? No, I'm really not. We'd be able to see a uh, stronghold. Ooh, -hoo! speak of strongholds and you will find one. That is right next to an iceberg. Okay, that's an iceberg. Icebergs can have uh, polar bears. Polar bears are something you need to watch out for because when they have young, and you get close to them, the polar bear will uh, try and attack you to protect their young. There's a bit of an irony in having a desert biome right next to an iceberg area, but I'm not going to complain. I'm instead going to go and check out this uh, stronghold here and find some goodies. Hopefully another enchanted book. Another mending book would be really nice. Let's just uh, deposit ourselves here. And have a look. Now, we remember how we dealt with these before. We need to go in. And start uh, our mining here. So that we don't get uh, caught out by that trap. There we go. Slowly down we go. And I put a torch here. We're nearly there nearly at the bottom. I know I could destroy... Ooh, actually, we're a little, uh... We're a little too close to the bottom here. Hmm. Maybe I can, uh... There we go. That'll do for now. What do we have? More saddles. Some bones, some string. Well, this sand can go here. These stone pickaxes can go here as well. We have another emerald. We have more bones, more iron, and some gunpowder. And then, golden apples. That is more like it. Some string, and we will leave the spider eyes there. Finally, a looting two enchanted book, and another golden apple, another bone, and three diamonds. Now that is more like it. The gunpowder is being left behind. The cut sandstone is being left behind. The sandstone is being left behind. We are getting out of here. And I say that after, of course, uh, putting away the things that will uh, let me get out of here. That in particular. So, also we can get rid of this stone axe. That's really not going to help us. So let us quickly, uh, vamoose before it gets dark. We want to be, uh, in the water when it gets dark. That was a fine uh, bit of exploring there. Short and simple. If only Indiana Jones had such luck. Ooh! Uh, hello! This is a, uh, group of pillagers. Pillagers go out and about looking for villages to ransack and uh, kill all the villagers within. They right now are just looking at us. As long as we keep our distance, they won't attack. If they do attack, bear in mind that they're not very good at uh, avoiding friendly fire. I'm just going to go. Also, uh, note that there is one that has a banner on their back. 
That banner signifies that they are the leader of that uh, pillager group. If you kill that one, you get a debuff that lasts a very long time. And that debuff, if you go into a village while it's active, will trigger a pillager raid. And if that village is not prepared, and even if it is, there is a good chance that everyone there will die. Including you. So, uh, you won't mind if I just leave them be, and, uh, decide to rest in this bed, and go check out that sunken ship over there. There's a lot of really neat stuff nearby. That sunken ship also looks like it's very close to the surface, so you shouldn't have too much difficulty exploring it. Also, I think the uh, pillagers will have either despawned or moved on by now. Which is good, because, again, don't want to deal with them. So, we have a sunken ship that will probably... Oh, wait, never mind, it's actually not uh, close to the surface at all. Okay, it's kind of close, but... We still have to go down to uh, get into it. Oh well, in we go. Now we need to be quick and uh, go to here where there typically is a uh, treasure chest. Oh! Well, um, we're gonna need another trip. Let's uh, quickly. Oh, 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 this is not good. We're running out of. Uh, running out of air. Quick. Up we go. Up we go. That can happen really quickly when you're underwater. Really quickly can you run out of air. You need to be a lot more careful than I was there. There's another sunken boat there, but uh, if you don't mind, I'm just going to wait for my health to uh, replenish, and then we might go and check out the remaining stuff in there. I was nowhere near careful enough. Nowhere near. Nowhere near. That was way too close. Okay, if we go in now, should be easier. Now I'm actually going to get rid of this too. That'll make it much simpler. Hold down control to get up really quickly. Consume some more bread so that we uh, do not... Uh, ooh, there's a drowned right there. Can you see it? Consume some more bread so that we can uh, have uh, healing really quickly. Go down here go into here, and quickly grab everything else of any import, which is that. We now have a uh, new recipe, because we have some lapis lazuli. And there we go. We are safe. Lapis lazuli can be used to make blue dye, and is also used in enchanting. But my, was that cutting it a bit too close. My heart started beating quite a bit faster when I realized that my health was extremely low. Dying due to uh, drowning underwater while going to get treasure would have been a silly way for the Avatar to go. But that's exactly what nearly happened. And so, folks, when we come back, there is a uh, area beneath the, uh, the main uh, deck of the ship, but we're not going to be going there. We're going to be leaving that for now, and instead heading over there and checking out that boat. And then doing some more exploring. Possibly over to there, just to see what's in the vague area over there. I get the feeling there's going to be a lot of islands and not a lot of villages, but so far, pretty good loot has been found, including diamond. You don't need to go deep underground to find diamond. Sometimes you just need to find a boat, or something else, that could contain treasure. Like that boat that's probably going to contain my doom. This one nearly did. That one probably will too. Also, that was a jungle plank. Showing just where this was made. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.